guys, it's Eileen here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another DIY. I don't know if you've seen my other DIY with the welcome sign. I will link that in the eye up above. Um, but I'm going to do something similar now with my house number and street name. So I want to show you guys how this comes out. Before I get started here, I do want to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, you got to hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. I do apologize for the background noise with the AC. It is super duper hot in here. I can't shut it off. I am dripping even with it. It's almost like 100 degrees here. I can't even take it, but fall's on the way and I'm actually looking forward to it at this point. So back to my wood sign. What I have here is a piece of wood. I've turned it into a house. Now I had some previous video on my computer, but my computer's out for repair. So I don't know if I'll get it back. So we're going to have some missed footage, but I did get a piece of wood and I decided to cut it out into a, um, square and a triangle to make it look like a little house. And I want to put up here my street number and my street name. And so that's why I made it to the size that I wanted. And I've already sanded all of this down so that is smooth and ready to be painted. And the back is where you can see how the triangle and the square are attached using these long nails. Um, my boyfriend did attach this for me. I'm um, not very good with that, but if you don't have those types of tools, you can obviously always glue this together. However, I'm going to be hanging this on the house. It could get weathered and I just want to have it as secure as possible. So for this project, I'm going to be using the same materials as I did last time. The Deco Art Americana chalk paint and this is from Michael's. I did use this Craft Smart black paint pen, which I really like, so I'm going to be using that again when I do my number and letters. Then I also got this Craft Smart wax metallic paint. This is in rose gold, and I'll be using this to distress my sign at the end as well. I already um, made a stencil of this number two. I used my old number two number that was on my house that was plain and dull, but I used it to trace out my number two, so that was kind of cool. And I will be using my three inch stencil letters for my street name, and these were from Hobby Lobby. I will link down in the description box below all the supplies you need to create this sign if you want to do this at home. So the first step is now to obviously get painting and that's what I'm about to do. So I'm just gonna use my paintbrush and I'm just going to start applying my paint. You guys know you do not have to worry about this being super perfect. This is rustic farmhouse and it's not meant to look perfect. It's meant to look weathered, worn, one of a kind. So I'm using this brush and the most important thing you don't want to forget is to get under here where the two pieces are connected. I mean, you don't want that to be showing up in the regular wood. And I'm just going to keep going with all of this, let it dry, and then I'll be back to show you um, how I place my stencils on here. All right, guys, I'm back and my wood is dry. And you see here I've traced out my number two already using the stencil that I made from the number two that was already on the house. All right. So now I'm going to be putting on my stencils for my street name and I want to make sure they're going to fit. So I'm going to take my time while I lay these on out and then um, get to tracing them. So I have laid my stencils out and the reason there's a blank space is because it's another E and there's only one of each letter in this set. So I um, kind of spaced them so they'll all fit and now I'm going to get busy with tracing my letters onto the wood. So 
so my letters are all um, stenciled out and my number two, that's my address, yes. And so now I'm going to use this Craft Smart oil-based pen in black to fill in my number and letters. All right, so I did pop my glasses on so that I could get within the lines better and the number two is done and I'm going to now move on to the name. The worst part is just tracing the letters out again, filling them in as a piece of cake. I'm glad that I have a short name for my street. The lettering's all done and now it's time for that rose gold distressed look. I have added some twine down here and a leftover butterfly. That was from my welcome project. I also have hooked the twine now in the back on these long nails. When I go outside, I'm gonna use our staple gun to just secure the twine up here and probably just give another couple down there. It can't hurt. And now for the final touch of distressing it with my rose gold wax paint. If you have um, extra socks laying around that are just collecting dust because you don't have the other pair, that is always a great thing to um, apply this type of wax paint. You just, it protects your fingers and you're just gonna slightly, ever so slightly, put a drop on your rag, or in my case, sock, and start applying it. So yeah, this is it guys. My sign is all done. I am so happy with how my new number two for my house has come out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY with me. I had so much fun creating this sign. This is a super simple DIY. And if you have leftover wood, even better. I did have to purchase my wood for this project. I had some for the last one. Now I have leftover wood for any other future projects. Please guys, comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this DIY. I wanna ask you if you haven't already to please subscribe to my channel like this video, share it with friends, and don't forget, hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload to YouTube. Stay tuned for more. Bye.